holy cow, what a week of astrology we've got in store for you this week. Well, not me personally, the cosmos, obviously. Anyway, we have a full moon eclipse and we also have dastardly Mercury retrograde. Having said that, all is not as it seems, as thankfully this full moon eclipse has a lovely trine to Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. So don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Here's your weekly astrology. Leo, this is a really interesting week for you and it brings a lot of things to a head, but it's also woven through with, with a kind of beautiful amount of protection and the universe wanting you to come back into yourself and supporting you under the surface, even though let's say something dramatic does happen, not necessarily going to happen, but something dramatic emotionally does happen. You are very, very protected and basically all the energy of this week, certainly up to the 13th, is about you coming back into your power and particularly around personal relationships. This full moon is in your position of personal relationships and romantic relationships and intimate relationships. So there is a change there, there is a shift. For some people, you're going to the next level, your relationship is taking you to the next level and it's almost about you surrendering and letting go to love. For other people, it means letting go of love that doesn't serve you anymore. But whatever it is, it's an internal soul process about your personal relationships. Now, the good news is it's trying Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, I mean, Jupiter is the, the most lucky planet of them all, and he's in your position of communication. You are likely to have some news this week that's going to shift things for you, that's going to awaken you in some way. And on top of that, it, it, Jupiter is sextile, the sun, your ruler, in your sign. So this is power. Some information is coming to you to help you be re-empowered. You are feeling strong. No matter what happens, you handle it. And in fact, could be... I mean, there's a lot of very positive energy in that moon. And this energy, you know, whatever happens on Monday, it's not about Monday, it's about the next month or so. So, you know, you're in a process of change. Of course, in August, we've also got that, your second new moon in your sign, which is serious drama. So, you know, there's, there's a big shift going on for you, Leo. I would say August without question is the most powerful month of the year for you. And this is where you're going to learn a lot about you and also be able to create your future and, and shift any old crap that's been following you. OK, on another level, on the 10th, we have Mercury, Sextile, Venus. Lovely. We also have um, Sun, your ruler, Sextiling Jupiter. Happy days. Lots of information this week that's going to help you and, and support you. And you're feeling good about it. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling like the queen of the jungle, the king of the jungle, as you should do. You know, your roar is on full form. OK, we have Mercury retrograde on the 13th. We all have to worry about that. And for you, it's in your position of money, finance and security. You know, this is not the week to be splashing the cash. In fact, really take note and, and go through all your finances and make sure that you're not cocking up anywhere. Uh, and you're not, you're not, you know, there might be a temptation to kind of spend to feel better. You know, what's your relationship with money like? Think about it, because otherwise, you know, there could be maybe some bill you forgot about in the past or something that you're doing which is not wise financially. Definitely, I wouldn't take a loan with Mercury Retrograde there or lend anyone money. So bear that in mind. Finally, on the 13th, another good thing for you, my darling, and that is because the sun is trying Saturn. Now, Saturn, fire signs, we don't really like Saturn. It's like, meh, Saturn, meh, go away. <laughs> because it's about responsibility and, and being restricted. And, you know, us fire signs, we don't like that at all. Having said that, Saturn is useful. And all of us have to go through learning to get on with Saturn and understanding the value and treasure of Saturn. So when the sun is trying Saturn on the 13th, you are grounded in your magnificence. You are grounded in your creativity. You are able to lay proper foundations for your future happiness. I love the sound of that. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.